Never miss another live stream again. Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and click see all notifications. What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Ed Honcho, aka your Houston homeboy, the Houston homer, uh, Senior Saucy. This is South Sports. South Sports is a Houston, Texas homer channel, so we're talking all sports, but only Houston. Uh, with that being said, let's just get in it. To when are we talking about the Rockets today? Yes, I'm still outside of the South Sports studios. We're still working on that once everything gets back. Back, you know, I can get back to my normal routine, but we're going to talk about the Rockets uh, a little bit. Um, and that situation uh, with CP3. Uh, we got the Mavericks tonight. I'm not really worried about that, but I'm just going to really mainly speak on the CP3 thing, and I'll talk about the Mavericks probably in another video. But everybody's having these concerns about CP3 and having the injury, and um, I'm not that concerned about it. You know, I'm not sure where the speculation of the, the month came from. I think they said Mark Stein or somebody was saying that it would be a, a, up to a month. But the Rockets are saying day-to-day. I don't really think it's going to be as bad as, as people are trying to make it. You know, people around town, they when any little negative things happen, and I know we're used to it because we're so we're so used to all the things that just take place in Houston sports. We get so close, and then it it gets yanked from us. Um, I'm not concerned about it because right now the way I'm looking at it is this is still <clears throat> your team from last year, uh, for the most part, with all your your key scorers, um, minus Beverly. I'm not worried about that because. Uh, Mute, solid, Tucker, solid, uh, very, very good pickups. So I think still overall the defense is better overall. Still got Ariza there. You still got Gordon there. So not, it's not like it's a – to me it's just an upgrade over what was on the court last year, a slight upgrade. And then when CP3 returns, even better, you know. I think this is actually a, a, a benefit because this is allow this will allow – other players to get acclimated in the offense, some of the newer guys, you know, that chemistry will develop uh, because they didn't have a chance to play as much. People say, oh, well, what about the chemistry with CP3 and James? They've been playing all fucking summer up until this point. I think they're going to be all right. Um, you know, that's just something they'll work out as it goes along. And with James Hart still being one of the most efficient, if not the most efficient player in the fucking league, it's not a worry. He's just going to improve on what he did last year. And when CP3 comes back, you know, they'll just kind of split the duties. Um, I don't think it's going to be a month. What is today? Today's the 21st. And um, we're talking about, say, November, what, 21st? That's around Thanksgiving time. So I'm not sure exactly when Thanksgiving is this month. I, he's going to be back before then. I don't see it because, like I said, they're calling it day to day. He was almost going to play. I think in the Dallas game and something happened. And so I think people are overhyping it. <clears throat> I don't think people are blowing it out of proportion. And even if so, even if he's out a couple of weeks, uh, it's not really going to affect us. We're still one of the more talented teams in the league. So with or without CP3 because of what James Harden can do and can create because this is the same team that last year, I mean, this is an upgrade over the team that last year wasn't even supposed to make the playoffs, you know. But now all of a sudden – this new narrative comes out. Now that all of a sudden this this team that had no stars and just had James Harden, now that Patrick Beverly's on the Clippers and he he guarded a rookie Alonzo Ball. Now he's he's the great he's the greatest defensive guard in the league. There's there's no comparison. They never, ever, not once did you ever hear anyone in the national media ever say anything remotely close to that about Patrick Beverly when he was a Houston Rocket. Now I still got love for Pat. I just I lost a little bit because, like I say, when he left, he was sounding like a little broad. He was sounding a little like a a, a a hurt girlfriend, you know, that got broke up with. And that's fine and dandy. I can understand when you're put in a position like that, you know, it hurts. You know, you, you felt like you're a contributor. You felt like you want to be a part of something and to feel like you're, um, you know, you can be exchanged. That's you, you know, you're dispensable. So um, I can understand where you would feel a certain way. But the thing, like I say, is just, this is shit I've been saying for. This is why South Sports got started purely because of, of reasons like this. This is why I really started talking about this shit because the national media makes me sick. That I can't fucking stand it. Uh, and that's why I, just, I hate it because every time I turn on and I actually say, okay, well, I'm going to check it out and see. It, it might not be so. They say some shit that fucking piss Now, Patrick Beverly's like this all otherworldly defensive super specialist. And we knew that. We already knew that. It's stuff that we've been saying for years. But the narrative was when he wasn't here, he was a pest and he just really was annoying. He really wasn't all that. He just really did more annoying things. It wasn't that he, he was dirty. Uh, he did some dirty shit against Westbrook. You know, 
And so that bothers me. Like I say, it's Lonzo Ball. And Lonzo's going to be good. Lonzo's going to be all right. But it's a rookie in his first game. You're blowing this shit way out of fucking proportion. Um, Beverly's still good. Beverly's going to get, he might even be better. I don't know. But look at the stat line. Look at, I mean, it, 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 and I'm not doing this to knock on Beverly. It's really the, it's really the media. I mean, let me, let me take it. I'm not knocking Beverly. Okay. It's the national media and the shit that they're saying now because he's not doing it. Like I say, if you look at that stat line, he had way more impressive stat lines with way more contribution in many games in Houston. Shit, playoff games. Um, but you never, ever, not once heard a single analyst, expert. You know, I don't believe it. I'm, I'm a, I do commentary. I'm not an analyst. I'm not an expert. I don't believe it. I'm a fan. I talk about my teams to other fans. Sauce Nation, I want to know while I'm thinking about it before I, you know, y'all are the freshest motherfucking ingredients, so I got to know your opinion. I got to know how y'all feel about this. Uh, first, I want to know what y'all think about the CP3 injury. Drop that shit in the comments below. If you think he's going to be out a while, do you think it's going to affect the chemistry? Do you think he'll be back sooner or later? Do you think it's no big deal? And when he comes back, it'll just be a boost to what we already got shaking. Um, and then I want to know how y'all feel about the Patrick Beverly thing. I didn't I really didn't intend to talk about it. Just kind of segued into that. But I want to know how y'all feel about Patrick Beverly and how the media is treating him now after one game against Lonzo Ball. Like Lonzo is the next MJ. You know, he's all right. He's going to be solid. Um, but it's a rookie in his first game, and now Patrick Beverly is the greatest defensive player of all time. Go ahead and give him defensive player of the year now. Oh, like, it, and it's the shit that just why I hate the fucking national media. That's why I, I, I hate national sports media. Shit, I hate a lot of fucking Houston media too, shit. It's few and far in between that I really fuck with like that. But getting back into the Chris Paul thing before we get up out of here, um, I don't think it's that bad, me personally. I don't think it's <clears throat> an issue. I think a lot of people are blowing it out of proportion. And I don't think that it hurts the Rockets so much. Um, like I say, when he comes back, you'll find his way. Trust me, Chris, Chris Paul will find, CP3 will find his way and where he belongs. And that's why it looks so awkward. <laughs> You know, speaking of this national media, one more time before I get out of here, but we're still talking about CP3. Uh, stupid ass Barkley talking about, oh, CP3, you know, he's, he ain't even fit. The motherfucker was hurt, dog. But then you're going to go and say all this shit like, oh, yeah, man, I'm telling you, they, okay, okay, see, they, just, they got like, like these motherfuckers just, you're talking about two personalities in James Harden and CP3 who have been playing together for months now. And you don't understand how they're ever going to figure it out. But then you're talking about three ball hog superstars or, or three ball dominant superstars. We're not going to call them ball hogs. Two out of three definitely are. Um, superstars who hadn't played that much together but a couple of games and they're instantly just going to miss. That's what I'm not understanding. Like, that's what I'm saying. The narrative just seems like when people come to start talking about shit when it relates to Houston, it's fucking stupid. And so, I don't know. But I'm going to get up out of here. They ain't going to put too much more sauce on it. Like I say, check the socials, facebook.com slash saucesports, saucesports.com, Honcho Saucy on the Xbox, uh, South Sports HCX on Instagram and Twitter if you just want to fuck with it. If you're fucking with your boy Honcho just because you just fuck with my off the wall shit, uh, Ed Honcho HTX on Instagram and Twitter. So with that being said, man, Sauce Nation, y'all are the freshest motherfucking ingredients in the world. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like. I appreciate all that because y'all know YouTube be demonetizing all my shit, trying to shut me down. Uh, they ain't trying to shut me down, but they ain't trying to shut the money down. So we go figure it all out, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna trip on that because it's about bringing the sauce, it's about bringing the flavor. And as long as I can keep doing that, We'll figure out the rest of that shit later on. But with that being said, man, deuce up. I'm out. Stay saucy. Be cool like you be cool. All that good shit, man. Y'all have an awesome day. The Rockets gonna kick the Dallas ass tonight. The fucking Astros gonna handle the Yankees tonight. And we finna go to the big, the, the big dance. You know what I'm talking about? We going all the way, baby. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm out.